Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I don't know why I always feel like <laughs> I want to do like a sing-song type intro. Hey guys, welcome to the channel with a very defined outro but no intro. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are having a lovely day today. Yes, you are looking at Halloween craftiness and suffice it to say... It's the middle of November. I think it's time to, unfortunately, <laughs> put away all of the Halloween goodies and uh, get started with other things. I really need to move on to Christmas projects and the, the you know, things like that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys what I have done in my October Daily because I know a lot of you wanted to be able to see Hey, Linda, <laughs> if you're watching, I love you. Um, but yeah, a lot of people have told me that they're waiting to see what I've created. So I think I made it about halfway through uh, the 31 prompts. So I'll show you what I have. And if I have to split this in two videos, I will just so that it's not as long. So um, a lot of things have changed and a lot of things haven't. I still have not put anything on the cover yet. I'll do it next year. You know, there's no rush. I, I figure I can fill up the rest of this book with next year's prompts or finish this year's prompts if I really want to. So the closure's the same and I'm really glad that I used the elastic band because maybe about 15 prompts and yeah, it's already alligator mouth. So, um, really all I've done is I pinned this little charm and tassel little deal that I made here to the spine and, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll figure out a different way to put this on it some other time, but I've just got this really cool Tim Holtz, uh, Halloween token. And then I, this is one of my favorite charms. So, I think it's appropriate for Halloween, a little bird skull. And then I have these really cute um, bead charms that April made. I think she sent these last year in Halloween Happy Mail. So I'm finally able to incorporate them. And I thought it would be fun to use this baker's twine to kind of tie them onto this bulb pin here so that, you know, as time goes on, they will fray a bit and look even more cool. And then... <laughs> I literally made the simplest, easiest tassel known to mankind. I just looped some of my favorite little ribbons and such through this little uh, plastic gear here and tied a little bow, and that's that. So I've got some ribbons that were gifted to me and, you know, just some of my favorites. So that's what I've done there, and let's open her up. <laughs> And get started this the front is the same I did add this the month of October um, ephemera strip this is from some graphic 45 cutouts and as I showed you guys before I'm just gonna leave this here the little bag and it holds this little I guess it's like a little notebook that I made and it has all of the prompts on it and then as I go through and do the prompts I will check them off so that I know. And I did not go in order. Um, I have a kid, so a lot of things, you know, as they come to me, as I'm able to do them, I'll do them. And I wanted to have room as well to add memories of him in here, which you'll see. And, you know, some pages I think are more appropriate for certain um, prompts. So that's basically what I did. So... The first page is, um, I was kind of just going to do like a collage of some of my favorite stuff. Um, just add a little sticker here that says 31 Days of Spooks. Some of my favorite ephemera. I made these last year when I made the little, uh, like, uh, pocket planners. And this really awesome thing here is uh, stamped muslin from Jen. And then, like I said before, I've used... A lot of things that were gifted to me in Happy Mails from my friends. So you'll see all kinds of stuff. And if you sent that to me, thank you so much for that. I've tried to use all of my favorite stuff. So, um, okay, this is day one. And on the back here, I'll just take the tag out so I can read it to you. 
Um, day one is, which Halloween critter are you most afraid of in real life? And, mm, I mean, I have a huge respect for all creatures. I don't really care for big spiders or poisonous spiders. They're pretty scary, so... I had a lot of spider stuff, so I just went with the spider theme, and I wrote that I have much respect for spiders, but I sure don't want one crawling on me, and I'm terrified of the poisonous ones. So all I did was threw on a bunch of the, you know, the fake spider web stuff. I've collaged all kinds of different things, and then I've added all different little spiders here and there. I've got my number one here, and then this is from some... Tim Holtz Halloween packaging. You see I just washi taped and glued it in there as a little flip and then on the back I added a little pocket to put my tag and I used some of the um, the spider web stuff to make a ribbon and then I tied on this little like ephemera and charm piece and then I've also got a little little spider hiding in here and then on this side I'm going to add, um, I, I wanted to save this space for a photo of my son or something fun that we did on Halloween. And you'll see I date stamped every page at some, in some place to um, record the date that I did that. So the next page is day seven. And day seven was, what are your favorite snacks to eat while watching a movie? And I wrote, my favorite snacks to eat while watching a movie are popcorn and Twizzlers, but I certainly don't have any limitations. I like a lot of different snacks. I just wrote that I also like Reese's Pieces and Snow Caps, which I don't really care for, but I always think of that when I go to the uh, movie theater and I see them in the, you know, in the case, because my grandpa really likes Snow Caps. So what I did here is just printed out a bunch of the different candies and popcorn and I just did a little collage. I thought this was so cute. I'll have a treat. And then I put October Amusements. I used washi tape, these cool tickets from Janine and the Tim Holtz word clippings. And then I, I sewed the um, popcorn bag together so that it's a little bit smaller and fits the page. Did a little collaging here. And that way I could put in um, pictures of the different movies that we watched throughout the month and I could journal about it So this was one of the first movies I watched they put it on Netflix. So I wanted to watch that again. I think it's one of the Like I don't know it just makes me nostalgic because it's one that I saw When I was a teenager and I really liked it and then not all of these are necessarily horror films I watched happy death day because I hadn't seen that yet and I've journaled about everything on the backs. Haven and I watched Mortal Engines. Um, but we've been waiting to see that. Really great movie. And then uh, probably the most exciting movie that we watched together was the the new Godzilla. Like, there's a lot of Godzilla movies. But this is the 2014. And so, like I said, I just printed out the, uh, the little thingy that would go in your DVD case and wrote about it. So... He's really been interested in Godzilla lately, so I um, I bought that movie for him, and we watched it together, and it was a really great night. So that way I could have, you know, I tried to add in lots of places where I could record those types of memories. So that's day seven. Like I said, I did leave space in between a lot of them to add, like, personal things like this. Um, every year... Uh, Haven's great-grandmother sends him a Halloween card, and this year she stuck a $10 bill inside, so my son was really happy about that. So I've just done a little simple collage here, dated it, I just did this the other day, <laughs> and used these really cute stickers that I got from Janine. So this is day four, and day four was, um... What did I do with it? Oh, okay. Day four is use your stash supplies to make your own candy corn. And then you're supposed to answer the question, do you like candy corn? So I made a shaker. I love shakers. I love making them. They're so fun. Um, so yeah, I just collaged um, different colors of fabric and paper on the back. And then used packaging to make the little shaker. Sewed it up and, you know, left a little space to add 
the sequins and such and each one has a little gemstone in it as well so had fun with that just decorated the page um so here's my thing i do like candy corn in small doses and i only really like eat it during halloween time so i mean I, so i guess technically i do like it but i feel like candy corn is like tooth poison because it's pure sugar so literally I went with that theme and um <laughs> I had this little gravestone so I I drew a tooth and cut it out and then I embossed it like three or four times with white embossing powder to make it really thick and then I just glued it over the other words that were on here <laughs> so I thought that was cute it was really fun to do and then I've just added these K and Company like little spiders this is some Tim Holtz fabric. I think I got this from Dolly a few years ago. So it was like a poison thing. So I put candy corn. I've added the little um, embossed vampire teeth stamp. <laughs> and this is another charm from April. And like this is totally falling apart. But I don't care. I think it's still cool. So that was day four. This one is day five I believe. Yeah. Okay. So. Day five was uh, draw and decorate a jack-o'-lantern and then give it a story. So I've just collaged on the page like all my favorite like jack-o'-lantern stuff. I did some stamping and die cutting. And then this sticker here I love so much so I was going to use it as a prompt for my story. Which I have not written yet. <laughs> and I didn't do the face on my... I haven't turned my pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern, actually. So, uh, this is my pumpkin. I really just wanted to kind of do something, like, super crafty. Not just collaging on the page, which is mostly what these are. So, I paper-pieced together this pumpkin... And you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So I cut out strips from different orange Halloween themed papers. And then I inked the edges with oxide and also distress ink. And I drew a leaf and a stem and little curly cues and cut them out and glued them on there. So I've got a nice pumpkin. So I will eventually turn him into a jack-o'-lantern. And then I'll have the space on the back to write the story of the King of Halloween. So... That is my day five. I loved using these magazine cutouts. I've been saving that magazine for a while. Day three was black, green, orange, or purple. Which Halloween color is your favorite? Black. Duh. Um, black. I love black. All black everything. Every day, all day. That's right. So I just, <laughs> I cut out one of these, um, Tim Holtz like pocket thingies and I've collaged the whole page and what I started with was this paint chip for the different uh, black colors and I just went from there and for the pocket I just stuck in a few of my favorite ephemera pieces and this cool like acetate piece from Tim Holtz like all different pieces for my friends and stuff and this really cool um this pocket here, I think this was from Dolly. It was like a die a punched out border. So I turned that into a pocket and added one of these cool, um, they're tarot cards, but they made them for like crafting uh, last year for Michael's. And I liked this one because it had the zombie on it. And then this little guy from Janine, I just cut his little hands where they attached to his body so that he could like wrap his little hands around stuff. And I've got a little felt skull for a tab here. Uh, this crow is from one of my um, bird books. Little bat with dimensional wings. And just some collaging down here. Yeah, I'll definitely have to split this into two videos. So, I think I'll do one more. And then we will do another video. So, I've still got plenty of space to add next year's stuff. And um, also my memories too from this year. So this was day number eight. Get creative with your mediums and collage a ghost. And I just made, um, I do this a lot in like my art journaling and stuff. I just think it's cool to have something interactive. So I, um, you know, punched a hole and put eyelets in these to make little tags that can flip up and down. This page here folded over. So I just, I continued the uh, tombstones down here. 
got my number eight, and then this um, really cool Halloween poem. I'll just hold it there for a sec if you guys happen to want to read it. But it's by Longfellow, which is pretty cool. I think it was, um, I want to say artsy or some kind of uh, Halloween ephemera. So for my ghost, I had this really cool, like, grayish purple uh, spider web type fabric lace stuff. So at first I just took this white burlap twine and I drew my ghost and then I glued it down along the lines. I wanted him to have a really long cool tail. And then I just glued, as you can see the glue is, there's lots of it. <laughs> so I just glued the, um, that uh, cobweb lace stuff inside of the ghost and I think it looks really cool and it feels really neat. So it's it's a little dimensional. I think it's creative enough um, so that the book's not, you know, too, too thick with um, stuff. So yeah, I just collaged on some ghosts from some little ephemera packs here and there. I used the white creepy cloth back here and that's pretty much it for day eight. This is one of my favorite pages. <clears throat> I really loved uh, playing around with this. So I'll stop the video there and we will start um, the second video with the next day. So thank you guys so much for joining me and I will catch you on the next one. Don't forget to spread the love.